You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't decide what to have for lunch on your own, eh? Don't think we've noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? I got a sword, Groose. Ha! <laughs> pop the door. Dur her her. Alright, I don't like that guy. But today's the day I bust up that adorable little fantasy land that you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess today, and I'm gonna be the one that claims the sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, I no way I'm gonna let some scrawny cloth snatch that prize from me. Or clown. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah, that's south cloth. Zelda's sailcloth will be mine! <laughs> I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. I can see it now. First I win the race, then I win the Zelda. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can't see it! <laughs> God damn, look at this fucker! <laughs> hey, Groose, you're doing that monkey face. You know, the face that you make when you're thinking perverted things. Oh, hey, Zelda. Looks like, uh, looks like a hero ran off. Probably to go shopping. Oh, no, man, he's right there. He's just standing like an idiot. I was to tell my buddy here how glad I was that he found the red bird around, you know, the place that I hang out. Later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one with the giant freaking aerodynamic pompadour hairstyle. I can shear right through the wind with this hairstyle. Alright, seriously, the bazaar needs to open up so I can buy a goddamn bottle. Either way, don't let those fools get you down. Just get out there and fly the best you can. Uh, us alone? I don't know. Don't be nervous, you can do it. I can't do it without my bottle of red potion. Shit, it's already starting. Is the store just closed today because of the ceremony? Awesome. Whoa, how are they doing that? I guess they got like bags of colored flour. And they're just like letting it disperse as they fly. Whoa! The Knights of Skyloft! How cool are they? Ooh, there's like a little tiny yellow one. Hey. Whose bird is that? That's a baby bird. I can't fly a human being. Uh, but we start to explain the rules of today's competition. Race! You know, be the first one to finish the crossing line. I've attached a small statuette to this bird. Oh, okay, we gotta follow that little tiny bird. He's all twitchy and shit, he's probably really fast. Press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Call your bird using down on the D-pad. Remember that, down on the D-pad. We've told you like four times. Remember, you're playing a game down on the D-pad. That's how you call your bird. Don't ever forget it. How do you pronounce that when you say it in, like, voice acting? Uh, simple enough. Uh, yeah, we're good. Just go! Excellent! Lad, today's champion will be graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. Although, I'm pretty sure... I'm not gonna need any of these knighthood classes. I'm about to go on a whole adventure, finding, like, Triforces and other shit. Saving the day. Saving the world! Our 25th anniversary! What a coincidence! Because this game was part of the 25th anniversary of Zelda series as a whole. Yeah! I hear a young woman performing the role of the goddess this year is the craft of the gift herself. Because, you know, there's like eight people on this island and I don't really know the little girl's name. Could be Zelda. Oh, yeah, it is Zelda. God. Like seriously, there's like there's like a dozen people living in Skyloft and they they like they all know each other. What's with all the formalities? It's like, all right, Groose Link race. Other two people fuck off. Bye. Hey. Line up. Competition will begin. Groose is going to fucking like dash like crazy. Hey. 
It's probably gonna do something. Go! Oh shit! Dun, 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 dun. Down on the D pad! Yeah! Alright! It's race time! It's the Skyloft race! Gotta get that golden snitch! Fuck, get high up in the air! And then do like a dive bomb special! I'm coming for you, bird! I'm coming for you! You wanna go? Whoa! Let's go this way. I got his ass. Yeah! Gah! I'm gonna win. Did I fucking win? Eh? 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 How do I. Okay, how close do I gotta fucking be? I can't. Oh, god damn it. See, now I'm like too close to it to like see where it is. Come on. Come on. Got it! Give me that fucking statue! No! Oh, his bird has a pompadour too! <laughs> That's hilarious! Uh, whoa! Egg in my face! Shit, they're attacking me! Is this. is this kosher? Oh shit! Uh, watch out for eggs! Ah, damn it! Am I losing health? Are they gonna kill me? Uh, got it! Give me that statue! You got the bird statuette! Also, I have a sword, so I dare them to throw eggs at me. I did it! Look at me, I did it. I got the statuette. I'm keeping this thing too, I'm not turning it in for the reward. What are you doing? My bird is it has a freaking capacity limit of one. Don't just drop down out of the sky like a goddamn boulder. I'm fine. Yeah, fuck you. Push her off. Push her push her ass off. It's like, oh that's great, you're fine. Pff, shove. Call your own damn bird. Oh there it is. It's flying behind us. Why don't you land on it? Ugh. Oh look at the birds. Even the birds are in love. Oh shit, we're like up there on the statue. Hand me that bird statue! Do it! It's mine! Ugh, I'm out of soda. I mean, uh, healthy drink. You know, the, 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 the water and such. Heh. Grant us mercy? The hell? Mercy for what? Uh, maybe we'll find out in a few minutes when horrible things happen. I bestow the blessing of the goddess upon you. Don't squander it. Also here. This, uh... This tunic. You need it. No, it's not a tunic. The blessing of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft, the sail, which I now pass on to you! Also, I made this last night, so that whole thing about it being sacred and ancient is bullshit. You can now jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. Hey! Awesome. Fall damage. Not a problem. It smells nice, too. Okay. That's not creepy at all. It's supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? Don't fucking hold up my gift like it's a goddamn key item. They say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. The one you're holding isn't the same one. Yeah, obviously, cloth deteriorates after a few years. A few hundred years. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Willie. This game would have played out a lot differently if Groose got the damn sailcloth and, like, went on his own adventure. That's like some Dead Rising 2 off-the-record level bullshit. Now we should really finish up this ritual with like, I don't know, some kind of embrace. 
Uh, uh oh. Sort of. Nope. That, uh, uh, sort of. Yeah, I guess I sort of know. Some kind of loving embrace. Is it gonna be all PG? A little hug, a little kiss, a little something like that? You have to jump off the statue! <laughs> Die! Die for the goddess! To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down in the right in the center of it. Leap off the edge! Right before you hit the ground, hit B to open up your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second. And then you'd die. <laughs> Bye, bitch! Yeah. So. The fucking used motion controls because fuck it! Oh, I have to hold it. Whoops. I have to hold down B. I gotta remember that next time. <laughs> that was perfect! You're amazing! Yeah! What? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> These facial expressions. I'm like, yeah, I did it! I don't have a voice, but I have- I am very expressive. Seeing as you won today, I was thinking maybe we could, like, go get some tacos later. Quesaritas. Salsaritas is, like, half price on Wednesdays. Go flying in the clouds? Yeah. I gotta go deliver soup. I gotta break a chandelier. There's like a mini game with a clown. And he's gonna give me a bunch of money. I got plenty of stuff to do, man. Also, I gotta find a green tunic. I, I got the green pants. I need the damn shirt and, and hat. Also, like I've been bitching about for the past hour, I need a bottle and a potion. Cause I'm gonna die. <laughs> This game doesn't autosave unless it autosaves. Okay, so if I die, it's gonna send me back really far. What are you so sad about? Are you sad? Are you sad? I can't tell. It's like she knows something bad's about to happen to Skyloft. Oh, well, there it is. What was that? Oh, it's a San Nato. What's going on? This sounds... This sounds like orchestra music. It's like... Oh, it, a little bit. Huh. Weird. Alright, so Zelda's dead. She is like straight up dead. I'm dead too. I'm falling. I'm falling to the surface, I think. Willie! Really? Wake up. Wake up, you're gonna die. You gotta use the sailcloth. Also, I'm an angel. Yeah, look at her. She's the Midna of this game. And for those of you who watched me play Twilight Princess. She's also the Navi of this game, for those of you who have ever played Ocarina of Time. Oh, hi. Also, she's Zelda. Not? No, no, she's not. She's not Zelda. Zelda's right there. She's falling. I gotta catch her. No! Yeah! Oh, fuck. Wait. I didn't fall to the surface? Ah, you're awake. Today's the ceremony. You gotta find your loft wing. Fucking Groundhog Day, bitch. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. You don't appear to have any serious injury. For that much, we can be grateful. Also, you fucked up because my daughter's gone. But, you know, I gotta be all leadership and shit and not be mad at you for that. What happened to my daughter? Hmm, I see. She's dead. Well then. A black tornado, you say? That was no ordinary storm. It was a black one. The evil fiend crocodile. <laughs> Ooh. 
They're still recovering. When you saw Zelda today, did anything seem off? Yeah, she heard voices. Tell them about the voices. Or don't. I don't care. This is from legend, I'm sure. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having a dream about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. There never usually is. I mean, you know, prophecies, hearing voices, mystical worlds, they're never connected. Just, uh, you know, get some more stamina fruit and swing by the shop. You'll be fine. We'll find Zelda. She'll turn up. Ugh. <sighs> 